Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we will cover this lab that is mitigate threat and vulnerabilities. So first of all click on start lab. In case you get capture, always click I am not a robot and in case they ask for image verification click that. Now right click on open cloud console in incognito window. As you can see in my case it is getting signed in automatically. In case you need username and password, you can always refer to the lab instructions. So click on I understand, scroll down. Meanwhile, subscribe to the channel and like the video. So now click on I agree and then agree and continue. Now you have to activate the cloud shell. So first of all, click on activate cloud shell. Now click continue. Now wait for the cloud shell to activate. Now click on authorize. So guys as you can see the cloud shell session is live now. Now I have shared the github link in the description to check it out. Now you have to enter these commands. Wait for these commands to get executed. Now you need to check the score for task number 2. So as you can see, click on check my progress. A lot of you guys were asking how to enable the check my progress bar. That is on the right side. So I have shared the video in the description too. You can check this out. Because a lot of you are doing in games. So in arcade games, they haven't enabled this check my progress. So do check that out. Meanwhile, like the video. It's time. It takes time to update the score sometimes. So we kindly wait. As you can see, you have got the score. So now let's move toward the next task. When you click check my progress, you won't go because we haven't done the next task. So let's move back to the cloud cell session. Click on Y. Now it will execute the task 3. So as you can see the commands are running. So guys I have uploaded the lab free courses too. You can check it out if you want to. So now you have to follow the video. First of all, click on this link. Now scroll a bit, you have to find the networking section, network interfaces. Wait, as you can see, this is how the interface looks. So now network interface and then in app external IP, we have to reserve the IP. So where you will find the name, it's mentioned here, scroll down. So as you can see, static IP, you have to enter this name in the place of name and then click on reserve so click reserve now click on save button wait till it gets saved in case you skip you will get error so better wait for some time So 
so as you can see the it has got saved now click on y and hit enter now it will execute the next task now we have to do another task for that click on the link So as you can see there are multiple starting URLs you have to delete one only one should be present here. So you have to copy this IP and paste here. Make sure to copy the entire for copying select from the start HTTP till the end and just leave the cursor. It will show clip icon that means you have copied it because a lot of you guys may face issue that you guys are unable to copy from here so copy and paste you don't have to remove the 8080 include all and then now you have to click on save button all right So as you can see it is getting saved but here you have to click on run scan or run. So now wait for some time. We need to run the scan. So first let's hit the check my progress for task number 3. As you can see we have got the score. Now for task number 4 you need to wait for some time till it scans As you can see the scan is running now. So now if we hit check my progress, we will get a score without any issue for the last task. Also we got the score and we are done with this lab. In case you didn't get score, do wait for some time because lab takes time to update the score. So do like the video, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys and have a great day ahead.